terms of cooldown, like for mm. sure, like it's gonna be harder for Clyde to initiate. Mm. It's gonna have an option of that flash only every two minutes, right? Mm. Let's wait and see. It's going to be the same. Yala Esports on the blue side. Impunity is going to be on the red. Let's see what Yala can do. Due to they have Lambert, so they won't be that worried about their early game invasion, I guess. Because Lambert's passive can offer his allies extra magical and also armor defense. But look at that Doma already take it to half of his HP. <gasps> What? I I was thinking about actually I was just want to like reward Clyde because yeah. it seems like he wants to pull that blue buff out. And that's what I just mentioned. Yeah. One trick if you want to guard. That Yala tries to go to change. It's gonna be manipulated rage, gonna be surrounded by four people. X Hero has his ability and cooldown one more time. Goes in, is going to be first blood for impunity. There's still one more. Mm -hmm. but their hand is going to be wide, and then it's going to be Doma, the one that's going to run away. Oh, this opening one goes that well to yep. Yala Esports. Wow. They tried to change um, but, mm -hmm. to exchange those with, their, with the other side's blue buff, right? Yeah. But I... why, did they, why did it take them so long? Yeah, that's the problem. Like, if you want to do one thing, you need to do it thoroughly. But first, Lambert didn't pull out that blue buff just halfway through it and then stop. So they just easily hand it over to him. And on the other hand, they want to take their opponent's blue buff down, but they also waste a lot of time there. So only keep focusing on doing one thing. Hesitation. Yeah, hesitation would drag you down. Too many ideas at the same time. Mm. It's something that we saw from Yala's video at the beginning of this whole mm. of this whole cast, right? Mm. Let's talk about that in a minute. Right now we can see Clyde just falling. They took the tyrant, but at the end of the day, they just lost this fight as well. In Unity, five members oh, all gathering together. What is Megumi doing? He did not even have his ultimate. Jumps in, takes the turret damage, and it's going to be a one-to-one -one trade. Mm. Maybe. So talking a little bit about that, like we talked in the, uh, the video when we watched about Yala Esports, um, they mentioned something very interesting. They mentioned that when the team just started, everyone was just making directions. Like there was always five people making give, giving five different instructions it was not until um, the end of their qualifiers that they found one person that was going to make the calls mm -hmm. i don't know if after just coming back over here and making all the way to south korea if that problem is just happening one more time it just Think seems they to, got the rotation it just seems to me like they have five different ideas happening at the same time and too many voice sometimes gonna be interrupting. It's gonna like confusing you would be. Because you don't know which voice you should follow up. So shot caller is gonna be quite crucial for a team. So maybe that's something to do with the rotation once we sat, right? Yeah, it might it might have something to do with that rotation. Mm. It is difficult for sure. Ray is going to be able to protect the Firehawk. The third hand from Megumi comes in. Ashin going to jump in as well. It's going to be X Hero. Three people from Impunity already here camping in the Red Buffs jungle. And check Ashin's spot. <laughs> what he's doing? What's this guy doing now? And Flower taking control of the, of the jungle. Yeah. Um, All impunity coming in to try to contest this red buff. Mm. And once we saw Fawn for several times, it's worth mentioning that uh, because of the passive for Fawn, mm -hmm. he can do extra true damage to those monsters. Clyde Brooks is old. It's going to be early as right now. It's going to be his bottom laner, the one that is going to fall. He, he just broke his arm again and just to check on the bush. 
Double kill for Megumi. Dom is going to follow. That's for calling me a it seems like y'all are already falling pieces because everyone's doing their own stuff. But check out, like, Impunity is already gathering together. Do it as in a 5 5 way. So that's gonna make Impunity always have numbers in advantage. Easy rotations for them, no? Mm. It's very simple rotations. I don't think that, that Yala has been able to do the exact same good game as they did in the previous one. Mm. And if we take a good look at this Cicious selection, we yeah. can see how it works right now. Easily use the first ability. Pull some people out, like this one. Force out the flash, another normal Fatal. attack. Unstoppable. Flower is showing his abilities right now, right? Mm. Like his team is just, just going around him. Nian Yu is going Nian Yu is going to take a second position right now. Like he's not gonna take the front line. Like right now the front roll and the main spotlight for the whole impunity just goes around Flower. And after Flower take down this red buff, he's gonna be even more powerful. Because the blue buff will rely well allow him to slow down the movement speed for his opponent, which is going to be really helpful for him to stack off the first ability. For all marksmen, it's super important just to have that red buff, right? Mm. Like that red buff is very important for most marksmen just to, just to have in there. Nian Yu overstepping. Yala trying to protect their blue buff and Nian Yu taking control of the vision. As at the same time, impunity the in the bottom lane is going to be flower destroying more turrets. It actually is clearly that you can see Yala's members from Yala are always minding their own business. But impunity, they're always unite together and do all those things together. Yeah, like a. They need to try to work oh, a little bit closer to each other. Good third hand is going to be Doma, the one that is going to run away using his passive. That's quite impressive. Three people be stunned, and Magumi even didn't use his flash. Yeah, just straight up a third hand, and that's it. Yeah. Again. Abdo manipulated. Heaven's Origin is going to come in. It's going to be the same. It's going to be the one is I seen the one that is going to jump in, trying to take down the turret. The minions are still here. The turret is taken to one fifth of its HP, and it's not going to fall. Now the comeback ray is going to lock in on one. It's going to be X here, the one that is going to follow. For Yala, if Swords, they go over here and take a very crucial kill. Mm. You can see Ray just find the spot and take X hero down. Because he's Miyamoto Musashi, and also with his ultimate, he can easily take down those people with a low HP bar. Good movement from Ray. Mm. He found the opportunity just to counter attack. Look at him. Comes him, locks in on X Hero, and straight up. Even X Hero down. uses this flash, because, but his movement speed is already slowed down, so he can hardly. Away from in this moment, if I would have been Xira, I wouldn't even have brought my flash. Uh -huh. You just need to understand that there's nothing that you can do in there. Like anyway, I'm doomed. Yeah. Just save it. At least save your, <laughs> at least save your flash and then it doesn't need to go in cooldown. <laughs> True. Again, two minutes cooldown. That's quite long. Impunity taking control of the vision, taking control of the whole map. Right now, what the only thing that they need to do is just to work those minion waves trying to make them crash at the same time and then just jump into high ground mm. and because of the significant wow. go different it's really hard for yala to withstand infinity <laughs> right now mid lane high ground turret is going to fall and it's going to be right now impunity splitting in two halves Red team has because they don't need to tower. worry about their attack see yep. Yeah, he's being so tough. He's just using his ultimate and not be afraid of anyone else. Megumi comes in, trying to stall, allowing Flower just to take some damage from the turret. Mm -hmm. 
Impunity, are they trying to close out the game? If they do, they need another minion wave. Just engage. Such a nice engagement. Chak Lu Bu use his flash, try to take Lambert down, but it was about the front line. Yamato Musashi just be taken down. And Meng Ya trying to do constantly alpha, but Chak Flower used the second ability, try to dash in, but instantly flash out. Look at that, it was extremely well done from X Hero. Not allowing Doma to jump in and try to clean up the way. That's gonna be Clyde, the one that's gonna follow. The super minion comes in. That's going to be the last nail under Coffin. It's going to be a game for impunity. Another 2-0 win play against Yala Esports. Congratulations to Impunity.